Now joining me is the Shadow Environment Minister, John O'Dunham. Senator, thanks for your time. Big news out of New South Wales. The extension of the Araring power station by two years. Do you welcome this announcement for certainty on energy supply? Well, of course, Kieran, we welcome decisions that keep the lights on and hopefully uh, do go some way to bringing down power prices. But it is more than anything, not just business as usual. It's an admission by governments collectively, all of them Labor, uh, that their plan, their ideological pursuit of uh, putting all of their eggs in one basket when it comes to renewables isn't working. Uh, the transition that we were promised would have occurred to have uh, as much gen energy generation in Australia coming from renewable sources by a point in time isn't coming to fruition. And so extending the life of Araring by a couple of years is necessary. And of course, we welcome that so uh, Australians can continue to operate with the lights on. But it should be a warning sign for this government that they need to ensure that their plans aren't driven by ideology but underpinned by science and practicalities are taken into account here. Uh, having this coal-fired power station in the grid still is necessary and I hope Chris Bowen sees uh, what he needs to and that is that we can't just um, put all our eggs in one basket. Do you believe that this will be extended even further than... 2027, Araring, and possibly other coal power stations as well? Well, I, I'd say look at the scoreboard so far. They failed to roll out their renewables needed to uh, ex progress this transition uh, to have, uh, you know, 80% renewables in the grid by 2030. It's not happening. So, yes, I do believe they will have to keep extending the life of this and other uh, coal-fired assets across the grid. Um, but this just proves that you can't draw a line through particular technologies, particular sources of energy generation, as Labor have, uh, to suit a political um, aim. People, uh, households across Australia, businesses across Australia need to have certainty around uh, energy reliability. Uh, and their decision today to extend their hiring by two years to 2027 recognises that. So, more broadly, uh, Anthony Albanese and uh, Chris Bowen need to uh, recognise that across all of their energy policies. They need to make sure that uh, they're factoring this into what they do, uh, you know, and ruling out things like nuclear as they have and uh, spuriously pointing to uh, reasons why not, rather than opening up for debate on whether we should have nuclear as part of the mix, I think would be the mature approach. Mm. Sadly, we don't have that. It is all renewables and nothing else, and that will end in disaster. Mr Dutton is in WA, as I mentioned. He's promising to slash environmental approval uh, timeframes for resources projects. Is this about responding to the criticism that the Coalition has copped by not backing the government's tax incentives when it comes to critical minerals? No, this is in response to this Labor government having been elected promising to do exactly what it is we're now mapping a course to do. Tanya Plibersek two years ago said that we would have environmental laws brought in under this government that would be better for the environment and better for business, and neither have eventuated. The laws are supposed to be in uh, Parliament at the end of last year, and we have not seen a skerrick of them. So this is about actually doing what needs to be done, what the resources sector for a start is crying out for, when you've got resources projects taking years to get off the ground and in excess of a decade uh, in some examples, that isn't good enough. Uh, international companies that we want to invest here, that we want to create jobs here, are choosing from their boardrooms, wherever they might be, to invest in other countries because our approvals process is so unpredictable and protracted. So our commitment to halve, uh, work with industry to halve uh, approval times under federal environmental laws, to defund yeah. the activist group, the EDO, uh, amongst other measures, is exactly what industry need. It will create economic activity and it will protect jobs, which is what the Labor Party is failing to do despite all of their promises at the last election.